Uh, thank you, Anibal, for that kind introduction, and thank you, everyone, for being here engaging with our research. You probably know that there have been 142 democratic transitions since the start of the 20th century. Now, what you probably don't know is that 102 of these have been preceded by the introduction of elections at the local level within five years prior of the country level change. That is, seven out of 10 democratic transitions have had local electoral openings as an antecedent. Now, we know from the literature that democracy can come through national, legislative, or executive multi-party elections. And the literature also tells us that some national regimes are not simply a function of national ones. However, these two strands of the literature have not fully engaged in a thorough dialogue. And I think that this dialogue is important because it can shed light on the territorial challenges of transitions themselves, but also on democratic deepening, and it can help us understand better the political fortunes of specific states and provinces. The project that I'm currently working on seeks to kickstart this conversation by building a framework that looks at regime change episodes through a territorial lens. That is, what I'm specifically interested in is in identifying when, where, and why have some national politics played a role in democratization episodes. Now, based on my previous work, I have two initial hypotheses. First is that transitions are more likely when the local arena is neither fully closed nor completely open. And second is that we can think of transition as processes that either are either certainty led or periphery driven. Initial results uh, back my arguments, but I'm in the process of collecting more quantitative and qualitative data to build a comparative historic analysis that looks at Latin America and other countries in the global south. And I'll be happy to share those results with you once Kellogg grants me, of course, another two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> For now, uh, I'll be, I look forward to keep the conversation going outside in the hall, and I thank you all again for your time and your attention. Thank you.